Hello everyone, hope you are well. Well, it is Christmas Eve day here and I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a very peaceful, a very good next few days. If you have a chance, spend it around some people you enjoy being around. But for everybody, I want or I hope that you spend the next couple of days or so uh, at peace, uh, relax, uh, try not to uh, get caught up in the news and such. Now, I'm going to keep tabs on things, of course. That's what I do. But for the most part, I'm not going to obsess over it. I'm not going to look at it every few minutes. Nothing like that. Uh, we have family coming in later on. So we're cleaning and running around here today. That's our deal today. But don't stress, you know, put that stuff aside, if at all possible. Uh, you know, don't <clears throat> listen to all the noise and stuff on the internet and the TV and the news. You know, try, just, just try not to do that. Enjoy some peace. Treat yourself. Uh, hopefully you can spend it around uh, some time around some family, friends, church, whatever. <clears throat> but uh, I really hope that you can do that. Share some traditions, share plans that you guys do. I know here we, uh, we're empty nesters. So uh, pretty much just most of the time it's just the two of us here. And uh, Miss Dog and I have a little tradition on Christmas Eve. Uh, we watch the movie The Nativity Story. Now we watch other Christmas movies too. But this one we watch every year on uh on Christmas Eve is called The Nativity Story. It was made back in 2006. Uh, I will link it in the description. If you've never seen it before, you definitely should watch it. And if you've seen it before and it's been a while, watch it again. <clears throat> and we really enjoy it. It'll really put you in Christmas spirit. Uh, it's really nicely done. I mean, there's no big name actors in it. Uh, you may recognize some faces, you know, of some actors. Uh, but they really do a deep dive on the, the the characters, the richness of it. They really develop that well in this movie. The people they have, they've cast, playing these parts are excellent. I mean, Joseph, Mary, the family, um, the wise men, the three wise men are awesome. And the guy that they cast to play King Herod, man, he nails it. He's really good, okay? And shepherds, I mean, they, they cover it very, very well. Okay, so I highly recommend this movie. Anyway, other than that, um, share what you guys do, your traditions, uh, gift giving. Now, we don't do a lot of gift giving here. You know, we've scaled way back on that. Uh, Mrs. Dog and I, you know, we pretty much, we get, we need something, we get it anyway. So we have given each other some prep items, of course, this year. And um, I know I got her a canner, a big, nice canner. For that so she's trying to do that more and uh, that's something I need to learn but anyway uh, she's been very good to me she got me a new shirt a shirt that I'm wearing right now I'm gonna tilt it down so you can see it check it out faith over fear check that out she got that off Etsy so I think that was very thoughtful of her I didn't know she was doing it she sprung it on me yesterday so a nice surprise there but uh, share what you guys do, definitely. Uh, like I said, here we have family coming in, getting ready for that. And uh, But also celebrate the reason for the season, okay? The reason for the season, of course, is uh, we celebrate, most of us, of course, celebrate uh, the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, God in the flesh. You know, he, born in the lowliest of places, um, our savior, our rock, our redeemer. Uh, you know, can you imagine? And there's a thing, there's a scene in the movie, uh, Nativity Story, where Mary and Joseph are discussing this before he's born. And Joseph makes a comment, says, and this just sticks out to me. He says, he says to her, he says, do you think we'll even be able to teach him anything? You know, uh, I can't imagine that feeling, you know. Uh, but, Jesus was born uh, in, in, uh, as, as a human, and he experienced, he walked this earth like we do, and uh, experienced emotions, the emotions that we experience, uh, you know, love, anger, uh, you name it. I mean, he had to go through it, but and yet did not sin. So, he changed the world. I mean, this guy... Um, 
you know, the Lamb of God uh, was brought in. What a gift. So we just need to remember that, celebrate that, and think about that, you know, the next couple of days or so. And, uh, you know, it, it just, it's overwhelming, really, if you really, really think about it. <clears throat> and uh, it's really something to celebrate. Be thankful. Be thankful for it. I know I'm eternally thankful for it. You know, a chance at eternal life, you know, uh, being our Redeemer. You know, we put our faith in him. That's what will happen, you know. So keep praying and uh, keep repenting. Of course, we're all broken. We're all human, you know. We all sin. We all have shortcomings and quirks and things like that. We all do, you know, but we can strive the best we can to be like him. That's what we're called to do and be his disciples. That's what we're called to do. So I pray uh, that you do that and uh, that you have a very enjoyable uh, Christmas. That's my prayer. That's my hope for all of you, okay? But again, share your thoughts, share your experiences. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Uh, I really do. And um, keep the comments going. It helps everybody support each other. And remember, don't get too stressed about all the stuff that's happening right now. Really try to be at peace and just enjoy just enjoy and uh, and relax, decompress. All right. Uh, anyway, again, Merry Christmas. Uh, be at peace. God bless you. God bless all of you. I will see you soon.